What's it taste like? Look, does it taste like buttered popcorn, a rotten egg, stinky socks, tootie for tootie? Doesn't taste like Lawn clippings, toothpaste, berry blue, canned dog food, <laughs> chocolate pudding, moldy cheese. What's it taste like? She would not listen to me, and she wanted a bean boozled jelly bean. What did you get? Doesn't that taste good at all? It could be skunk spray or licorice. It stinks. Could be baby wipes or coconut. Mom. A booger or a juicy pear. Mom, I think it tastes like boogie. Boogies? <laughs> Do you want to try another one? No. You might get a good one. Let's try the coconut or the baby wipes. The baby wipes. Let's see, what, what's this one? Is this coconut or baby wipes? You tell me. <gasps> Don't let her get that. Oh, it's baby wipes. It's baby wipes? Really? Ooh. You going to spit it out? <laughs> it tastes like baby wipes. Oh my god. Do you want to try another one? No. A blue one? Ooh, the blue one's not bad. You'll get toothpaste or berry blue. Berry blue. I hope it's berry blue for you. I hope you get one good one. What'd you get? Toothpaste or berry blue? <laughs> Which one did you get? Toothpaste. You got toothpaste? Oh, Arena, stop it. So you got toothpaste. Ew. Do you want to try another one? <laughs> another blue one? <laughs> Marina, stop! <laughs> the last one, toothpaste? <laughs> yeah? What's this one? <laughs> strawberry? Strawberry? You got a strawberry one? You mean a berry blue? A berry strawberry. It tastes like strawberry. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny, you guys. Uh, ooh, there's a pink one. Or two yellow ones, or a black one. I don't like black ones. No. <laughs> Well, maybe because the black ones are skunk spray or licorice. Ugh, these look so gross. These sound so gross. I think skunk Yay! Oh, so the good ones are on the right side. The bads are on the left. Good. So bad, good, bad, good. I really wish you weren't crying right now, Lorena. Okay, let's get in the car and get going. You ready? Want to get your boots on? Yeah? Did you clean your face yet? Okay. Did Nana clean it? I cleaned it. Okay. Come on, let's go, babies. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. Goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. If we figured out what it's all about, takes a second and then we're back it again. Coaster ride for the triggered minds, but I don't ever want us to stop. Okay? Go ahead, tell them to smile for all I care. Just wanna.
I just drove all the way here. It was like a 45 minute drive. I sang my way to Target. Coffee in hand. Gonna wipe down the uh, carriage. We're gonna go see what's in there. My goal is, my goal is to try to get Miss Lorena her birthday gifts. I don't wanna go over a $100 budget and I have a $50 gift card. So we shall see what we find. I also need to get some wall decor for the bedroom and maybe some curtains. As you can see, I'm about to blow my brains out because these children are giving me a very hard time. So let's get this carriage cleaned. I hope you're having an awesome day. What's today? Today is, one second. Today is Tuesday, January 29th. Lorena's birthday is on the 5th. So we need to get some gifts and it's gorgeous out in Arizona. It is 70 degrees and yeah, beautiful. So let's get this carriage cleaned and see what Tarje has. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time. To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. We are just in the dollar section or the clearance section. And look at all this stuff. There's so much stuff. We're here to get Lorena's. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I have to get this. Three bucks for this. Sold. File cabinet. Wow. These are super cute. Yeah. Oh, look at Bria. Magical unicorn lip balm. Ooh. Bria, what are you throwing in there? Stop it now. Can I get those stickers? What do you think you're doing here? What stickers? That's all. She's just throwing everything in here. Okay, well, you don't need 20 things of bubbles. Why don't you get something cool? Look, this is, you scratch it, and it's already got stickers. So you scratch it, and then you see what it is. Scratch it, then see what it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't think we're going to get all this, but we'll see. you even if. Oh, that's cute. Maybe I'll get her that. I love you every little bit. 
They're very short books though. Cute little hand sanitizer. That's cute. Bria, stop for a second. In a minute. Does this come with everything you need? What do you need to get? Oh, I need thank you cards. got so much lotion. Chalkboard label. Okay. We are all set to go. We have eaten the chocolate Dino that I didn't tell her she could have over her face. Oh my God, I'm never taking Bria shopping with me ever again. Ever. I'll tell you why in a second. Do you want this? chocolate all over you. Are you done with this? Come over here. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm doing so stressed beyond belief. Now you're gonna go to the other side. So my friend opened up, opened up yeah, opened these wet wipes, and yeah, the wrong way. So I have to keep them in my Neutrogena makeup remover no, singles, which is really cool. I keep them in my car, so should get some of these. But now she needs to use this wipe for her face and her hand. Clean your hands. Bria, do you even need that piece? Uh, we'll catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> budget and I'm very unhappy about it right now but 
it actually we did get a lot from Target for the amount we paid so like I would have spent that if I had just gone shopping for myself and bought a few things I would have spent the amount of money I just spent which was over $200 um, had I gone shopping for myself that I would have got like three things like I don't know a pair of shoes and a shirt and like something else and like barely had anything and I have three buckets well a bucket full in the back and then another bag and the buckets huge and I'm really happy I got three bins um, for the closet so that I could organize it a bit better I wanted to get a shoe rack I wanted to get curtains I wanted to get a couple of those things I love Target there are so many things in there that I wanted but all it really did was make me sad because even if I had the money to get it I don't actually have the room for any of it so what it really did was make me really wish I had my own place um, and I think I'm gonna start working towards that as hard as I ever have in my life I'm gonna work for it um, I am going to save my money like there's no tomorrow and you guys probably won't be seeing very much of me that's the thing like if I'm gonna be saving my money I can't be going out doing things with the girls really and I can't be going to Walmart and like buying stuff for my videos and I can't really like be just driving around chatting with you guys using I guess like that's the thing like if I am gonna save my money I I don't know what kind of content I can bring you guys like you know my vision board was really hard because I didn't have the money for that I don't have the money for that and that's something that's like to some people that is a necessity that is something that you need like if you want to be successful in life and you believe in the dream boards and the law of attraction and seeing your vision every day um, to some people that's not a necessity it's not food it's not clothes it's not a bill being paid it's not a roof over your head so you know what I'm saying like it sucks because I'm one of those people that that need those types of things like I'm a left-brained I think that's what it is a left-brained thinker so I go for like creativity and like I love like decor and things like that and and I can't enjoy that's what brings me happiness and I can enjoy a huge missing piece of life because I don't have the money the space I don't have all of that right now so it is really hard to be happy and successful and make your dreams come true in the way that's possible when you're starting off with barely anything if that makes sense like I have to act like when I have money like I have to act like I have no money at all which means like I can't drive to the store aimlessly I can't um, just buy things that make me happy not in this car oh I got it so there's things in life that make me make me unhappy and it doesn't take much to make me happy which is good but it sucks what I just did would normally make me happy going shopping and being able to buy some things would make one happy what it just made me is sad because I have the guilt trip of it like I have to feel guilty about it because I don't have space in the house for any of it to be honest to like I was just ch telling my friend Brittany earlier like I don't have space for any of Lorena's birthday gifts and that's sad like that's pathetic that's life-sucking when you don't have room for your daughter's birthday gifts or when you have to tell people not to get anything for your daughter's birthday because you don't have any space for it. So I'm just kind of like, I'm just over the whole thing because I can't, there's no way I can go out and spend and enjoy it anymore. 
So what's the point? You know what I'm saying? There's no point. And it's and I'm over talking about it and discussing it because it's not all I'm doing is attracting more of that negativity into my life by saying I don't have this and I don't have that and I wish I only had this and that. Well, the more I talk about it, the more it seems to become part of my life. So I want to start being an inspiration to people and saying, well, I can't wait till I have a house. I can't wait till I can pay all my bills. I can't wait till, you know, I pay all my bills at the beginning of the month and then the rest of the, my money is for the girls and I to do nice things together. I just can't wait to, to turn my life around. And at least I'm on the way to that. At least I'm prepared and ready and know what I need to do to make that happen. For the longest time and I was in this position and I didn't know what to do. And at least now I know what to do, I know what I have to do, and I just have to do it. It just sucks because you would think being in my Nana's house right now, like, oh, she's probably got so much money saved. She's probably got so much money saved. She can go do nice things and go on vacations because she just has all this money saved up because she doesn't have to pay bills. That's not even the case, you guys. So... I'm gonna be budgeting right now. I spent a lot of money, but I have 80, 90, 100. So, $120 is saved in my bank, and the rest of it's gone, so. But the car is getting paid for by their dad, so I don't have to worry about the car payment right now. <laughs> I'm sure if once we get our separation rolling, I'm sure he's gonna be a complete dick and not want to pay for things. I mean, that's how most guys would be. But I just feel like if, if a guy really loves you and loves his family and loves you, whether you're together anymore or not, like you guys have kids together, you know, I feel like he should care. Like the guy that always gets me is in, um, the Housewives of New Jersey. What's his name? It's um one of the ex-husbands of one of the wives. I forget her name now. I can't remember which one it is. I haven't watched that show in a long time. But her um, ex-husband is like totally okay with her dating another guy. He's okay with being there while the other guy's there. He's okay with like paying for her house projects that she does and like pitching in for the projects um, that she's working on in her home and like that's just the kind of like guy I would want like if I ever meet another guy that's how I would hope that he would be had we ever had kids together and then separated I would just hope that he would be the guy to like come check on us and be like how are you doing and how are the kids doing and be able to just be there for me even if we're not madly in love and like living together and married together like I, I would just want the guy to be cool about stuff and care like regardless that's how people should be they should just care anyways like okay I get it you know I'm not your responsibility no more you don't have to pay for my lifestyle you don't have to give in when I want something like a bra or a pair of clothes or a pair of shoes like you don't have to give in but care you know don't let me walk all over you <laughs> but care you know what's wrong with caring what's wrong with being like oh she loves these shoes I'm gonna tell her no right now but then I'm gonna surprise her with the shoes just to be nice like just to be caring because that's what I would do for him had I known that he would do that for me you know like that's how I, I I treat people how they treat me trust me I'm not that cold like I love a lot of people and when I say love I mean like I love them like not like oh I'm in love and I want to have sex with you type thing but like I love you I care about you I care about your well-being I care about your happiness, I care about seeing you do well, I don't want to see you do badly. If you needed something, 
that I could help you with, I would help you with it. That's the kind of friend I am and want to be. Um, I want to be the friend who just sends something to my friends because I can. You know, like, I don't want to be the friend who doesn't let you know that I'm thinking of you or that I care about you or that I love you. Like, I'm the friend that will surprise you with something or if you had no money and we, and we went to the mall, I would buy you something. I wouldn't just, like, I would never, ever be able to leave that mall, like, with a, seven bags of shit for myself and just because you had no money that day not get something for you. Like, I would be the friend that would have to buy you something like I don't know $25 sweater I'd probably expect you to pay me back but if you didn't it wouldn't be like this is the end of our friendship but I wouldn't I wouldn't let you walk all over me either and be like oh this is the 15th time we've gone to the mall and you didn't have any money like <laughs> so yeah I'm pretty much home now but I just thought I would share a little bit more about myself in our target trip and how awful it really went and just those are these were just my thoughts on the way home so I'm going to end the vlog here thank you for um, spending some time with me and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed my little pep talk and yeah the girls are sound asleep so I hope you guys have a good night and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't